Hello, happy Sunday to you all. My name is Crypto Kid and welcome to this Bitcoin analysis. We woke up to a bloody Sunday morning and by bloody I mean the drop, the heavy drop on Bitcoin dropping all the way from 60,000 up to 50,000 plus which is a 15% or more drop. So what exactly happened? Ever since we made these particular highs on 58,352, we've seen at every continuous high made by Bitcoin at this point and even at this point has been done with particularly low momentum and low volume. Looking at the volume from this point, the volume has been declining, which means we either get an explosion in volume to the upside or to the downside. But then every time we made an all-time highs, the volume is way lesser than previous volume. And if you have watched my price action video, you will notice I mentioned once we have parabolic moves like this, these are parabolic moves, and then it resulted into making a channeled move. Like as we have this rising wedge now, it is a pattern move or a channeled move. That means the momentum is weakening. So, the moment we made this other highs and then we made a new highs, we expect this new high to be made with a lot of momentum. But then it wasn't so. We made it with lesser momentum and even lesser volume, which shows that reversal is getting close. Now, I may not exactly say that the reversal in the entire market is near, but this is a clear indication. And the first sign or the first one is sign that we should be careful. Now, the breakdown of this particular pattern, which is the ascending wedge or the rising wedge, is a good one because we get to retest previous demands. And when you look at this particular chart, we have a new high here and we have a new high, which means this particular swing low is our invalidation level. That's so why I have put and not reset a line at that particular level to so mark the current invalidation level. And if you look at this move, why it is not looking good? If this is an invalidation level for making a new highs higher than this, this was a previous invalidation level. We have a demand zone around here, which is currently holding price. I do not know how the day will close, but then we can go lower to see whatever is happening. Currently, the demand on this particular level which happens to be the swing row leading to the all-time highs is currently holding price <clears throat> and if you look at previous invalidation levels like we have this point and then this point here or let me say this point yes this was another point of invalidation level the correction on bitcoin never went close to that invalidation level so this is the first time we are having price come very close to the invalidation level and we even have a demand there that took out the first massive supply where we first paused in the market around 40,000 which was never retested and we created a new ice made another swing low made a new higher higher to the previous swing I mean what time ice this also wasn't retested after we made a new ice which means price never came close to the invalidation level now we have our invalidation at this point, 50,000 area, and we have a new highs. And this is the first time price is coming close to that invalidation level, testing the demand created at that point. This is telling us that this is a clear warning for price to come close to this invalidation level that it haven't, haven't done in recent times. It's a clear sign that we are getting close to the top. We have this demand that took out this last supply after holding on four hours yeah this is the supply let me just squeeze this a bit so we have the supply here it rejected price here first time second time and it got broken and on the daily we formed a demand at that point price we tested it pushed to the upside and then what happened after that first test, we have another second test here, but it couldn't quite hold the price. And then we have a massive breakdown in that demand. So what is expected is for this area to hold 
as a supply yes apart from the supply we have at this very top so this is a four hour so all these other demands that are once tested on this point on this point all of them got broken this is not a demand of four hour it is another demand at another time frame i believe which also got broken and this is a demand this is a on the daily this is a invalidation level and we have tested this now very close to the invalidation level and deep into the demand which is not looking quite good so the trend line also which is the supporting trend line on the ascending wage has broken to the downside some people will expect price to come into it and retest for more bearish moves so what do we expect or what do we anticipate from this one? Since there is nothing clearly yet on the daily, as we see, I just a single candle where we can predict what might likely happen. For price to come close to our invalidation level, it has not broken yet. So we see other bullish bias until we get price closing below that particular invalidation level. Then now we assume that we are bearish and we will be bearish up to this particular next demand which is what level is that and that is a that is a 46,100 price region to the previous invalidation level if we have a break of this as you know a break of this will signal reversal in price and bearish bearish moves so we can also have a break of this, this is my hold for a little bounce and then we come to retest this particular demand at 39,000 up to 36,000 so we cannot even if this breaks we still have to go higher to the weekly time frame to see what the price is telling us so before that let me go back to the four hour and we see the possible scenarios we may likely have now we have a breakdown of this demand and breakdowns of all this demand by one single candle which is all originated from here and what we like Personally, expect for this demand to see be holding on the daily, I will see as my bullish continuation, right? So I may expect something like this from this particular point, like we have a shaded move down to test this demand zone. And what do you expect of a shaded blue flag? We expect it to break to the upside, get a retest, and continue to the upside. If it may not break the supply immediately, so. What we may have is something like a downward movement, probably a little consolidation. Then we expect it to break and this to be reclaimed, only to proceed higher. But then if that is not happening, if this move is a strong bearish move that is going to take us out, I may take this daily demand out, then how will it look like? It might look like it might look like this. We have this move currently looking down. So from this downward movement, we may have just a bit of downward movement. Then we start seeing something like a bear flag. Or it can also be a wedge. And this tells us once this happens, we expect it to break to the downside. Once it breaks to the downside, either way momentum and volume, we might get a little bounce here only to break down once more <clears throat> and this breakdown if it's not a fake key what i mean by if it's not a fake key is as in we have a breakdown of this one, only to come back inside and close inside or above or we have a first candle breaking it down closing below it then the next candle coming to close inside of it or above it so that would be a fake key but if we have the first close below it not in a straight line as we know the first close below it and we have another close below it then this is a full bearish movement we should possibly take us to retest this particular level at 46,000. this area might hold in fact this would be the area most people trade patterns because this is the origin of the wedge sorry about the inaccuracy of my brush like that so that is the origin of the wedge and for you to break down means 
we are likely to return to the origin which is this demand which is here so price may likely come back here and hold so if price holds on that level at this point we might start to see a bullish move retest this particular height only to continue downward because once this invalidation breaks we are as only bearish momentum except the bitcoin savior or dogecoin savior Elon box steps into the show again and we have a pump now if this invalidation level breaks it does not quite signal that we are fully bearish because we have to pay attention to the weekly time frame as well bitcoin has been rallying for a while and with all focus on the weekly time frame we won't just take whatever is happening on the four hour or the daily into consideration we have to look at the invalidation level on the for on the weekly time frame as well and as we can see ever since bitcoin has made has broken this high as 12,000, we haven't had any decent pullback if you take the football sheet to rule from the lows let me get this bank back on to move from the lows, which is a low of last year, 3,007 something, to this particular highs. We've seen we've not even had 50% correction of the swings on weekly time frame, right? So, this is the current high now. So, if we are to make a full correction for all this move from 3,007, that means we are going to 34,318. And we can even go deeper down into the 26,000 level, which is a 60 percent Fibonacci level is this 62 or 60, yeah, 62 percent Fibonacci 61.8 and here is 705 and here is 78 percent level so but anywhere from here to here is what we'll be expecting but I wouldn't believe that we will we are going to see 16,000 looking at the institutional exposures we've had on Bitcoin in current times but 26,000 or 28,000 this last new validation level is not is not is is doable let me put it that way it's doable we can see 20,000 is possible if you have to make full correction for this move 34,000 is possible 20,000 is also possible why 16,000 or 20,000 might be with a pinch of salt I can't really tell I don't control the market but then if you have to look at this weekly time frame this was a low made prior to the new all-time highs at 58,000 and it was our previous invalidation on the daily level so we had this move and then we had another invalidation on this level and you even can tell this move from this particular loss has been very weak this is the last all-time highs now this is the last all-time highs no sorry this is the last all-time highs which was broken and looking at this on the weekly this and today is the close of the week. It's like we are going to close definitely below this. And what does this signal? This signals SFP, swing failure pattern. And for this to happen, this will give people the mindset to go short on Bitcoin for failing to close above the other mines on the willing on the weekly time frame. So this is not looking good. But on the second on the second note, looking at this particular looking at this particular last candle we've made a higher high to this particular candle and we've made a lower low to this particular candle that means what we have is an outside bar not just a bearish engulf but an outside bar on the weekly time frame this does not mean that price or this does not mean yes this does not mean that price will keep going down neither it will keep going up in fact, once I see an outside bar, I cannot predict the direction it will go because it's made an higher high, it's made a lower low. So I just want to see the next candle, how it's going to react and close before I determine direction. And that will be on the weekly time frame. But now on the daily, even, sorry, before that, if we take a rule from this particular loss and we journey to even this particular loss here, like this, as you can see, we are still forming a sort of rising wedge on the weekly as well. From this particular loss, we still have a rising wedge forming. So we might want to see price close just a bit inside of this trend line. 
if we fail on this one i've just drawn on the weekly if we fail to close inside of this trend line then if we can get a close inside of it on the next week this week we're about to enter but then if we close just below it it is not looking good we can have a retest of a supply on the daily only to break these levels uh, if this level breaks on the daily and the four hour that means on the daily and the four hours we are full blown bearish it doesn't mean that on the weekly we are bearish at the moment because if we are to look at it on the weekly this would be the weekly invalidation levels this was the high made this was a low made from that particular height this was also the high made but they did quite okay we got a close above that and then this low so yeah this low is the invalidation level so we do not want to close below this low especially twice close below that particular low. so bitcoin is not looking good exactly it's not quite looking good but then when we look at this particular point as well this level here we are the same ascending ascending wedge horizon wedge and we had a breakdown of the wedge here and then close back above the supporting trend line and then what do we have we have a rally to the upside is this move going to be the same i don't think so this is a much bigger move and a much bigger wedge than this particular wedge here and this move this breakdown move is a lot bigger than this so this time around this time around everything is different we just have to stick around and see how it closes but then i wouldn't want a break of this low if we have a break of this low then it won't look good anyway at all but then this might just be the volatility we need to get our momentum back into the market if this demand goes and this low holds and we get something to the upside let's see it to be we want it to be done with volume and momentum then we can guarantee that the price is going up but for now we just have to wait and see as it closes it's not quite looking good and on the early as we can see we already have a sort of a sort of their flag and breaking down so let's see how this pans out and now we have a bit of supply here we can have price come back into it again and drop again then maybe we have another supply at a point of supportory to resistance like this then probably we we'll get a blue flag at the end of the day and then we we'll rise back up but if not if this turns out to be as we have this move up move down then we have another move up then they move down and another move up then that means high possibility of going low so that is it on the btc outlook for today and it's not a lot of altcoins as you can see on the watch list many us especially btc pairs are down likewise with usdt pairs that seems to be unconcerned likewise some few ones but then we might just have a big bounce from this point so as at this moment we do not want this news to be broken likewise at the same time it is a first warning that we are nearly at the top if we are if we haven't topped yet so we are nearly at the top so whatever we trade let's trade with caution and let's be guided so that's it for the btc review and thank you for watching us